G'day guys, I'm Tintam here. Today we're going to be learning about the rendering settings. So uh, I have a scene open up here that um, I'm working on. I just uh, not working on. I'm just trying to add, experiment with some materials. Very crazy. Um, so let's just close these and let's go them. Let's go through them slowly. So the first is render. These two options should be very familiar to the average Blender user. You have your render image and render animation buttons. We have your full screen, whether you want your um, display to want to be when you're rendering something. Over here, however, there is GPU and CPU. Now when it's first open, it says CPU. This is pretty much what device you want to be you want the rendering power to be on. Normally you would pick GPU, but if your GPU isn't as good, you would stay with CPU. Now, once you click CPU, you then get another two options, CUDA or OpenCL. CUDA and OpenCL is pretty much acceleration structures within NVIDIA and uh, ATIs or ATMs. I think it is devices. CUDA is a leading power. I'm not, I'm not a fanboy, it's just fact. Um, so if I were to render this, this is on CUDA, however on OpenCL it will not work because it is incomplete. Some of them, some people can get it to work, but see uh, failing to load render kernel. So CUDA is the way to go. Next is, so that's the uh, render panel. Next is integrator. Integrator is pretty much your render kernel presets. Samples is pretty much how many times it's going to render for each pixel. Normally this would be around a thousand if you're doing overnight renders, one hundred thousand and yeah. So if I were to render now, if I were to preview a render and I'll put it to about let's say uh, 50, when I go to render, it will render 50 samples and it will stop which I don't know why you would want to leave it at 50 but yeah it will stop at 50 that is render samples so that's a zero and yeah bounces is pretty much the amount of light bounces that will have each right now it's a few presets already made direct lighting is pretty much a very biased low standard algorithm well not algorithm but how many bounces? It's 8 to 8. The higher it is, the more realistic it is. So if we go to limited, over here we have different presets. Limited global animation. As you can see, it is a few more different options uh, here. And full global animation, as you can see, the max bounces was 1024 with the min at 3. And the same for each is with the light paths. Light paths, how many bounces? how many bounces of light is on each of the uh, materials diffuse, glossy and, tra and transmission now normally this would be the same amount of bounces as it is on the uh, same number of the same number on the bounces the more it is obviously the more realistic it is so as you can see with uh, these ones it's not really a uh, lot of numbers I'm trying to experiment with it now transparency. Transparency is pretty much the same as light paths. How many mount, how many numbers of bounces um, are you going to give for the transparent? And the, what are the difference between max and min? Well, if you set this lower than the maximum, then it will be a lot more faster the, um, the rendering, but it will be a lot more noisier. So it's better to keep the min obviously keep the max high, keep the min low. So that is pretty much. Uh, if you want to see the difference, so obviously, a, so obviously, uh, direct lighting is what you've seen here. It will get a lot more f slower. Limited global illumination, a bit more better, and with global illumination, full global illumination. Now let's save this. A lot more slower, 
However, the GPU is much more better. And no Coastix button. Coastix is pretty much the uh, the light, as you can see here. Um, it is hard to calculate, and it will take a long time to render. So if you're in a rush, then you don't need to render out Coastix with the film. Film is pretty much the the overall finished render. So if I were to render it and put the exposure up, pretty much acts like a mini Photoshop-ish. If you would, if you would must, it makes it much more brighter. Transparent is pretty much leaving out the transparent background for compositing. Next is performance. Performance is pretty much the uh, if you're choosing CPU, then you would want to. Uh, know how many threads you're putting on. If you press auto detect or auto detect how many threads you have, if you go to fix you can put on how many threads you want. Next is your acceleration structure. Which ones you want to use for accelerating your um, performance if you're using the CPU. Static BVH. I found that this is a lot more slower. But it at the end it depends on what um, fits for you. Layers, that's pretty much self-explanatory for compositing. Dimensions, dimensions is pretty much the uh, resolution your camera will be. If you want it to be uh, 100, um, 1080, 720, you pick that. If you're normal with a blender, then pretty self-explanatory. And compositing output, output is where you want your image to be. And yeah, that's pretty much the uh, rendering kernel settings on in Blender Cycles, very useful for whether you want to have a overnight render or a very quick render. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you next time.